hello guys once again you all are welcome to this channel so today i am going to tell you how to draw footing layouts or trench plan so if you are going to design or build any kind of construction building right so in that you have to draw a floor plan so according to floor plan in your floor plan it should have columns right so how to place a columns including trench plan so before before starting of the columns you need to go for the trench plan you know you have to excavate the trenches right so these are the details of trench plan so you can see here it is it is the foundation trench plan with strap beam so you can see this is my plot having 22 feet as a width and 37 feet as a length so in this i have in its row three three trenches and in or in column it has four so it has to total 12 12 trenches right you need to excavate means we need to excavate 12 trenches to build the construction of columns so here you can see 4 f3 f4 f3 f1 f2 f1 f2 f3 f4 f4 so here you, here you can see F4, total F1 to F4. So it has four types of trenches. So means it has four types of co column footings. So here the details of F1 is it has some of the trenches, right? So its trench size is 4 feet 6 inches by 4 feet 6 inches. This is the trench and this inside hatch, hatch portion you can see this is our columns. So for this F4, F4 call for F4 trench for F4 footings we have to excavate the trenches with 4 feet 6 inches by 4 feet 6 inches trench so for walkable we have to extend 300 mm means 1 feet more excavation is needed to to draw or to develop the columns footing right so here you can see four types of footings are there so this is 4 feet 6 inches footing this is 6 feet inches 6 feet footings this is also the same and uh, two footings you have seen right 4 feet 6 inches and 6 feet here here 5 feet 6 inches f2 is and 7 feet and another one is 7 by 7 type of footings so here f1 is 7 feet by 7 feet footing and these footings including these footings including strap beam you can see the size of strap beam is stb means strap beam so when the two footings are connected with a beam is called the strap footing the size of a strap footing is 12 inches by 20 inches so here you can see one two three four four strap beam is there right these two so you can see these two columns are connected these two columns footings are connected by a strap beam is called strap beam so here you can see the section sectional elevation sectional elevation of footing f1 you have seen in this trench plan where is the f1 footing see here your f1 footing is there so the size is 7 feet by 7 feet so here you can see this is your 7 feet by 7 feet type of footing is there so here the sectional elevation of this footing is first of all so before seeing this you have to see this this criteria so here you can see this footing should be first of all you need when you reach the desirable depth of the footing or desirable depth of trench you need to first of all you need to see generally you can take 5 feet or 6 feet of maximum 1 meter 1 meter means 3.28 feet should be the trench depth trench depth so how how much depth you need to go for the footings so maximum it is 1 meter sorry minimum it is 1 meter and after that as per the geological condition of the soil soil you can go according to that so for this if you go for the 5 feet 4 feet that's much better so in this uh, if you have if you have drilled drilled the trench then first of all you have there would there would be a mud like earth your that should be compacted that should be compaction after that 
four inches should be stone soling with compaction after that leveling leveling with two inches of pcc that is m 10 grade 1 is to 3 is to 6 you know the ratio of mixed design it should be one with one part of cement three part of sand and six part of the quartz aggregate and the stone masonry here right a stone masonry of 12 inches so after that its width width should be 15 inches and it should be ground floor right so here it is total from here this place to this place you can see here to here up to the ground level it has been 12 inches right it should be depth into depth of 12 inches only so after that ground floor ground level is there after ground level plinth beam plinth tie beam from ground level to from ground level to plinth tie beam it is how much it is total 18 inches right and from ground level to ground level to starting of the plinth beam this is the starting of the plinth beam it is it, it should be 8 inches after that just go here and see what is the sectional elevation of this f1 f1 footing so f1 footing says this is the 7 feet by 7 feet and it should be this this is the this light light green or light yellow you can see this one this cyan colored actually it is it is the reinforcement it is the vertical reinforcement bar and here here the footings starts so this is your strap beam this strap is connected with i know i already told you the dimension of the strap beam is 12 inches into 20 inches so this you can see this is the cover of the footing means this cover of the strap beam and this yellow circular you can see this is the top bar is of top bars of reinforcement so these are connected these are the top bars is connected with the another strap beam of another footing so these bottoms also you can see bottom of the footings it yellow circle is the reinforcement bar and uh, and here these are the lateral ties you know the lateral ties are in columns and stirrups in the beams so this green you can see these are the lateral ties and spacing also mentioned here you can you need not to worry about it here you can see 8 mm dial lateral ties so the lateral ties the lateral ties should be 8 mm so the reinforcement of this lateral ties is 8 mm and it's center to center distance from here to from one lateral ties to another lateral, lateral ties distance is how much 4 inches up to plinth level this is your plinth level up to this plinth level it should be this much so after plinth level this area will be extended up to the columns desirable height so how much floor it depends on the floor size so here this this should be 5 inches both the sides and these are the strap beams you know and if you want more details see 12 mm dia of 8 inches center to center distance both ways so this is this is this this is the 12 mm of bar with 8 inches center to center distance and pcc i already told you and this is stone soling after this see here these are the these are the reinforcement of jali you know mesh which is here these are the these are the jalis which are laid laid in the trench so here this is the 12 mm dia of 8 inches center to center distance this is our columns so plan of footing f1 size is this much i already told you about this and these are the layouts so this this is the detailings of f1 footings so if you want how to draw the footings details i will tell you each and everything in my next coming videos and for this video i hope you have loved this video i have told you if you need the drawing of the footings and more much more things i will teach you everything in my next coming video for this thank you so much for watching this video and and if you have any queries regarding this video please do comment me i will dare to solve thank you once again